Alright, so let's begin. Um, this video is just to very quickly show um, some tips to help you avoid rendering issues when using Sony Vegas. These things used to plague me, but these few things I've done have almost eliminated my rendering problems completely. So hopefully they'll do the same for you. Um, I'll just bring up this little list. If you just want to pause and look at it and not watch my video, you know, go for it. But we'll start from the top. This is mostly from most important to least important. First one is you want to change the dynamic RAM preview to zero and the maximum number of render threads to one. So if you go into Sony Vegas options, preferences, let's see, um, go to video tab. Right here, the, the defaults would be like 20 and 100 or something like that. Change this line to zero and this line to one. Click apply, click OK. That um, changes the memory. The memory is allocated to your previewer in your video and it actually makes it run a lot smoother, a lot less errors. So it's better to use it that way. Uh, second one, uh, close MIDI files on that active application black screen. So come here to general. You see right here, that by default, this is selected. You want to deselect this. That makes it so when you are done with um, like a video here in the timeline, it doesn't close the media file in the application, it keeps it active. And that will prevent um, some render errors or some black screens. Sometimes your video might accidentally render as black. So that'll fix that issue. Let's see, another one, render options, CPU only. When you go to render, file, render as, let's see here, oh, it's a video, just a sec. I'm just gonna put this in for a moment real quick. Well, render as, if you go to your template, right here, you have the option to select different video cards. Select render using CPU only. That will definitely help avoid render errors. Next point. Um, okay, this is this other point. This is only if you get the, a green screen when you enter in an MP3 file. If you get a green screen MP3 file, you can temporarily rename this compound plug plugin folder. It may sound weird, but if you just put a G after it, that'll actually get rid of the green screen of the green screen that comes up when you try to render it if it's an MP3 file. Um, next point, um, if you're using MP3s and MP4s, you actually need to install QuickTime, so if you don't have QuickTime on your computer, be sure to Google it, download and install it on your computer. Next tip, tip um, after you're done with the project, don't render it right away. Save it and then restart the project and then render it. Um, also, restarting your computer can ha help clear the cache and help uh, prevent errors from that as well. Another thing, of course, is when it's rendering, don't do anything else to your computer. Just let it render it. Um, drag project back in Sony Vegas is another thing you could try to maybe help fix some render errors. Here, I'll show you what I basically did. So I already created another project um, right here in my documents. It's called Diamond, and this is a bunch of different clips. If you, after you save your project, if you open up another project in Sony Vegas, a blank one, and you click your old one, and you can actually drag it in, and it will actually mesh all those together so it's just one clip, and then you can render it, and that might help fix render errors because it doesn't have to go to each individual clip anymore. Um, last point, um, especially if you're using video files, like if you have a GoPro camera or other cameras as such, you might have issues with uh, rendering or especially your video screen here and the problem is is this file right here actually has some sort of issue with it so if you want you can actually just go to here and I'll put the link in the download description and you can download the actual file that's fixed and then you can paste it into your compound plug folder you paste it in here and it'll over overwrite this one right here and hopefully that will fix that issue. Anyways, that's all I have right now, but those are just some tips that I follow that have almost eliminated completely all my render errors, and hopefully I'll do the same for you. So, that's all. Thanks.